it's Lindy from Stitch and Lindy. I am very red today. This weekend was very, very, very active to say the least. <clears throat> I'm shocked my voice is not gone because I, I thought I was losing it on Saturday, but after Sunday it was even worse. Um, Saturday I did the mud run up at Dagmar um, on Lake Ridge. It was amazing. They kept saying it was Oshawa, but it's Oxbridge. <laughs> um, it was amazing. I'm going to do this mud run, mud girl, every single year because it was amazing. It was way harder than I thought, but that only pushes me to want to do it even more. So there was actually one obstacle that I had to get down because I was scared. It scared the crap out of me. The very last obstacle, you had to climb up this mesh ladder and then crawl across a walkway and then climb down. And I was petrified. It was, it's scared. I hate ladders. I'm not afraid of heights, but I hate ladders. So this thing scared me. So I ended up, I climbed up to the top and then was like, nope, uh-uh, I can't do it. So I climbed back down and went around, but everything else I was, oh no, there was one where you had to climb the poles, climb down and then come back down the other way and you had to do that twice. I went, I think I went up four and then threw a pole and then came back down because it was, so I need to work on my heights and climbing ladders. It was scary, but it was so much fun. You were literally like army crawling through the mud and there was rocks underneath the mud. My knees are all scraped up and uh, it was it was so much fun. You climbed Dagmar. So it was a lot of hills, way more hills than I even thought. I thought it was just these mud obstacles. I didn't realize we were climbing Dagmar. So it was insane. So it was a 5k run with 22 obstacles mixed in between and you're climbing Dagmar as you're doing it. So it was a feat to say the least. I actually think this might've been harder than the CN Tower climb. So it was pretty wild, but we had a lot of fun. I had a great group of girls that I was able to team up with. Um, and we had shirts that I don't have mine. It's in the wash because it's, it's off. Oh. I had to, when I came home, I just stripped in the front of my house because I was just covered there was mud in every crevice of my body but it was amazing my shoes are outside they have to be hosed down still um and then yesterday was wonderland so we actually went it was unifor day which austin got through his work because he works in gm and um we got a great deal we had lunch included um they gave us so much swag we got water bottles we got visors that the kids got to color um we had so much fun and they gave out it was a great deal um i was for some reason i was thinking it was 29 bucks but it was 39 dollars. but we got our lunch included which was a buffet lunch which i was worried that the kids wouldn't eat anything there and the buffet was going to be just regular buffet where it was just garbage that was out there but it was it was amazing like unifor and wonderland put on a great day for us um what was the buffet we had veggie burgers burgers, hot dogs, pasta salads, coleslaw, there was spaghetti, there was ice cream they gave us all, there was face painting for the kids, there was so much, so much. Unifor put on a great um, event for us yesterday, so um, we had a lot of fun. I don't know when we're going to do that again because the boys do not go on rides. They're afraid of all the rides. Paige is my daredevil and wants to go on all of them but she's not tall enough to go on all of them so um we ended up just spending most of our time in the water park but um which wonderland's water park is amazing so we had a great time i was kind of disappointed because what was it called the great uh i can't remember the names of all these rides the the canadian canyon or something i don't i don't know what it was the one that's it's water and you're in this big tube and there's like eight of you that can go and it's like a ride. I can't remember what it's called. Um, but I was disappointed because Paige couldn't get on that. So we ended up not going on that. I thought that was going to be a great ride that all of us could go on together. But finally a ride that all of us wanted to go on together. Paige couldn't go on it because she was too small. 
I think it was 48 inches and she was 42, so let's have a growing spurt page and then maybe next year we can do it, but I don't know. It's not really worth it for us if the kids won't go on all the rides because I want to go on the rides, but the oldest doesn't want to go on them and he's the one that can go on them and we can't leave the kids alone. So, and I'm not waiting in a lineup for two hours and making everybody else wait two hours for just me to go on. So the water park was what we got the most fun out of. So anyways, it was a fun day though. As you can tell, I am so burnt. Oh my goodness. Aloe vera is my friend today. Paigey, did you have fun at Wonderland? You have peanut butter mm -hmm. all over you. Like this. Come back here. Like this. Oh, yeah. Paigey got a mud girl tattoo. Mommy still has hers too. Ta-da. Ta-da. That was like me. I don't. No, it was a couple, it was two days ago. It won't come off. Mommy's got to scrub them, but I don't want to scrub them because I have a sunburn. And it'll, it's got a heart. Did you have fun at Wonderland? What ride did you have the funnest on? Mm, the hot air balloon. The hot air balloons. Yeah. What about the taxi roller coaster? What about the ghoster coaster? Paige went on the ghoster coaster with me. I love that ride. And what we kept screaming, right? And we put up our hands. He had so much fun. I right? was singing. Yeah. That's what you gotta do on the roller coasters, right? Yeah. Okay. Ow. You're hurting my shoulders. Careful. So we had a very fun weekend. Um, this is Monday. So it's me Monday. What is everybody doing for yourselves? I am continuing my um workouts I need to get back on track I've been way off track last week so I am just working towards um getting back to being mindful so that is what I'm doing for myself I don't have any rewards for myself or anything this week I don't have anything to be rewarded for but um I am getting back to being mindful um, I didn't get any of my prep or any of my groceries done this weekend because it was so busy so I'm going to be getting that done today and um, hopefully get back on track. Um, our stomach, our ab challenge ended yesterday. So our butt and leg challenge starts today. If you guys haven't seen that, I have it on Connect and I have it on my Facebook page. So check those. If, you, if anybody's not included in that and does want to be included in it, go either on Connect on my, on my post or on my Facebook group. And um, you can just on, on the actual post of it, ask to be added and I'll add you going forward. So this one is a 30 day challenge. So this one does give us a little bit more time to play with this. If you do get behind, I'm actually still three days behind on the ab challenge. So I've got to finish that up. Um, and uh, we do get rest days in this 30 day challenge. So that's another nice thing too about the longer ones is you get a rest day. So I'm pretty sure it works out to be every Sunday will be our rest days. So I'm fine with that. Um, if anybody is doing anything for yourselves or if anybody is needing or if you're being rewarded for anything this week or anything you're celebrating, drop a comment. Let me know below. What are you celebrating this week? Anything that uh, you achieved? Did, who else did the mud girl? I loved it. I am definitely doing it. I was hoping to do the foam fest, which is in July, but July is way too busy for us. We always take vacation in July. So um, my birthday is coming up on the 4th of July, so we always go up to the cottage on the long weekend. Plus, we take a week in July and we spend it with the kids um, up at the cottage and just do day trips. So, July is way too busy for us. So, unfortunately, I couldn't do the foam fest, but um, a lot more challenges will be coming. I'm going to do the CN Tower climb in November again. Actually, my work is getting a team together, so I'm hoping we can get a team together for that. Um, and... Uh, if anybody else knows of any other challenges within the GTA, let me know because I'm up for all of these. These are pushing me, so I'm really enjoying them. And it teaches me what I need to work on. Um, I definitely need to be working on that Stairmaster from the hills from Dagmar. And I also need to work on my ladder climbing because I was scared shitless. Excuse my French, but I was scared. I needed to come back down. Um... No, I couldn't do it. 
climb it was what it was climbing over when people were under me and nothing was there like there was no it was a walkway so there wasn't even like a trampoline or a, a blow up thing underneath if we fell I know we wouldn't fall because it's like it's mesh but still it it was scary so that's what I need to work on I don't know, I need Austin to set me up an obstacle course in the backyard. Um, but yeah, it was amazing. I had so much fun. It, we were so dirty. And then we ended up going to Chuck's Roadhouse afterwards for drinks. And we just sat out on the patio covered in mud. It was amazing. So I had fun. Anyways, who else is doing anything? Anybody else is doing something for your first time or accomplishing stuff? Um, I gotta give a shout out to my best friend, Jen. Jen, you completed your solo license this weekend and I'm so proud of you because you've stepped out of your comfort zone this year and just done so many things. Um, she's skydiving, so she accomplished, she achieved her solo license and I'm so proud of you Jen so keep going for it I noticed Steve said on your post now it's the A license so I don't know if that's what you're going for but I hope so you're doing great if anybody else is um, celebrating an achievement let me know below I hope you guys all have a great week happy me Monday let me know what you're doing for yourselves this week and if anybody wants to join in on my challenges for the week um, please go on to my connect um, at Stitch and Lindy and on my Facebook group Stitch and Lindy's Weight Loss Journey and you can find that post for the challenges and let me know if you want to be added. I hope you guys all have a great week. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do so and please like my videos. Please share my videos. I'm trying to get my YouTube channel um, put out there more to kind of help more people that need any help on the, this journey themselves. Um, so please, if anybody knows anybody that is starting out on their weight loss journey, is just joining WW, um, or doing any kind of program, it's not only about WW, just a healthier lifestyle, please share my video. I love um, all the encouragement that you guys give me as well. So I hope you guys have a great week. Thank you for watching.